Darren Scott here with Clear H2O Tackle, Tackle coming to you from our shop here in Michigan. Whether you're a tournament bass angler that travels the country, a Lake Erie walleye fisherman, Great Lakes salmon fisherman, or whatever else you might chase around, we're here to help you. Feel free to contact us via our Facebook page, website, or telephone. We're happy to talk with you and walk you through your needs. Tight lines and have a great season. Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli from Michigan Outdoors. We've got a great question that came in from Brian Carpenter and it is how to select a tail on a worm or how to select a tail on any soft plastic. Man, great question, Brian. Um, you know, I use two main factors when I'm selecting the kind of tail on my soft plastic. Uh, and I put them into three categories. And these categories are based on water temperature and activity level of the fish. Um, and it makes it real simple when I'm picking my tail type. Let's start on cooler water, less active fish, okay? So we're talking about water temperature that's 50 degrees or cooler, fish that are lethargic because of a cold front, because of water clarity, they're not active. In those conditions, I go to a tail that has very little action to it. Um, on worms, it would be a straight tail, a chunk on a jig trailer, any plastic that's straight there's no big curls or bends to it. That's a great tail type to pick when the water's cold and the fish aren't active. You know, the next category is moderately active fish and middle of the road water temperatures, right? Now the water temperature's in the high 50s to 60, even low 70 degree range. The fish are sort of active. They're not, they're not biting like crazy, but they're biting a little bit. In those conditions, on a worm or any soft plastic, I want a moderate action to the tail. Um, a lot of them, on a crawl or a worm, just a little tiny curl. Just this is a this is a Berkeley power worm. It's got a little tiny rib tail on it. Perfect action for moderately active fish in moderate temperature water. You know, the last one is when fish are super active. Uh, when the water's warm, great example of that would be a cold front's coming through, it gets cloudy, the fish are biting like crazy, the water temperature's above 70 degrees, in those conditions, on a soft plastic, on a worm, I like high action tail. Pick a tail that has a big curl, giant appendages, a um, lot of action to it, double tail grubs, I'm matching the action of that soft plastic to the activity level of the fish. That hot water, they're eating a lot. They want something with big movement. Think about activity level of the fish. Think about water temperature. Select the appropriate tail and you're gonna catch more fish. Good question, Brian.